Hi, this is Dr. Shri Devi, Associate Professor of Botany, Shri Sharada College for Women, Autonomous Salem 16. In this video, we are going to discuss about meristem culture or shoot tip culture, what is its procedure and what are the applications associated with this culture and also its limitations. Before we discuss in detail about this meristem culture or shoot tip culture, let us have a small introduction. Actually, Morrell and Morton, these two scientists were first developed a technique of meristem culture in the year 1952 for in vivo virus eradication in the plant called Dahlia. The shoots of all angiosperms and gymnosperms can grow by this technique. The apical meristem which is found in the tip portion of the stem is a dome shaped structure and this can be used for this culture as an explant. And the size of this meristem is approximately 0.1 millimeter in diameter and 0.25 to 3 millimeter in its length. It is a very small and minute structure which is difficult to isolate and this shoot tip or meristem culture can be done by different methods by using different media the safest and the best murashik and skoog medium have been used for very much satisfactory results. Besides this, Whites and Gothrids medium were also be used during the early days of meristem culture. Before we discuss in detail, let us study the definition of meristem culture. So the meristem culture can be defined as one of the tissue culture technique by which we use the apical meristem with its three leaf primordia, one to three leaf primordia to prepare the identical copies of the plant which commonly called as clones. This can be done by vegetative propagation for the production of virus free stalks. So this technique involves the isolation of meristem by applying a V-shaped cut on the stem. The size of the apical meristem is approximately 10 millimeter for the generation of virus free plant. Why should we choose 10 millimeter? Why not above 10 millimeter? If we cut the appropriate size or preferable size, then we can reduce the percentage of contamination by the virus. What is a meristem? A meristem is a portion of the plant which plays a key role to increase the plant length. So, uh, which is responsible for the increase in plant girth? That is called intercalary meristem. So, this meristem is made up of a continuously growing cells called meristematic cells which are continuous and they may be oval shape, polygonal or rectangular in shape and there is no intercellular spaces between the meristematic cells that is why they are said to be continuous. Next. Meristem is the shoot tip as we know which is found at the apical portion of the shoot as well as the root. Both are dome shaped which is about 0.1 millimeter wide and 0.25 to 0.3 millimeter long. This apical meristem is the portion which can be used for stem elongation and is free from pathogens. And this has been proved in 1949 itself before introducing this meristem culture. Why this apical shoot meristem is free from pathogens? Even if we take the plant 
which is affected by any viral diseases should also free from viruses because first of all the shoot meristem is free from pathogen number 2 it is an ever growing region or a highly active region so it never gives room for virus multiplication number 3 this region contains a high concentration or high level of auxin which prevents ma viral multiplication because of these three re reasons the apical meristem is free from all kinds of pathogens especially virus next let us see the process of meristem culture which involves the following steps let us see one by one first of all we have to choose a greenhouse grown plant why should we choose a greenhouse grown plant because the greenhouse grown plants are not exposed to the field condition at the same time they are free from diseases and it is less likely to expose to the dust and heavy wind so it contains only a very minimal percentage of dust or soil particles on its aerial parts so we have to take a young twigs from a healthy plant which may be greenhouse grown and we have to cut the uh, tip portion or the apical portion of the twig so that should be probably 1 cm in length so this has to be subjected to the surface sterilization and for surface sterilization we can make use of different chemicals like sodium hypochlorite mercury chloride etc if you go for sodium hypochlorite solution uh, for surface sterilization the shoot tip has to be uh, soaked in sodium hypochlorite solution 1% sodium hypochlorite solution for 10 minutes and has to be rinse the explant thoroughly with the distilled water sterile distilled water for about 4 times to remove all the chemicals which may be adhered on the surface of the shoot tip then this shoot tip or the apical meristem has to be completely free from any chemical and the cut portion may be exposed to the chemical so this has to be trimmed properly and this has to be kept in a sterile petri plate then uh, we have to dissect out the leaves which are present on the shoot tip or leaf primadia this is called defoliation removal of the outer leaves after the removal or defoliation of the twigs the apical region can be exposed and separated using a sharp sterile scalpel then the uh, apical region which is an explant for our meristem culture have to be transferred to the freshly prepared murashik and skugs medium so this is a most suitable nutrient medium for meristem culture many of the uh, plant bio technologists prefer this medium for meristem culture and this culture has to be incubated in the light at 25 degrees centigrade for 16 hours so once it started growing the development of single shoot sometimes multiple shoots can be seen and once it attains 5 cm in height it has to be transferred to the hormone free medium for the root development hope you know that in tissue culture both root and shoot system cannot be developed simultaneously so first we have to grow this uh, stem or shoot then it has to be transferred to the uh, rooting medium so here uh, once the shoot has developed 5 cm Uh, we just transfer this shoots to the rooting medium the rooting medium does not 
uh, contain any hormones so uh, we can also know called as basal medium or hormone free medium then the uh, plants has to be transferred to the pots the pots can be filled with the compost and keep it under greenhouse condition for hardening so transfer of plantlets to the greenhouse condition is called hardening because we are exposing the plantlets which are grown under in vitro condition or lab condition to the semi field condition or greenhouse condition so the plant can acclimatize itself to the existing environment because under in vitro condition all other climatic factors are controlled factors but when it is uh, directly exposed to the field condition the plants may not survive because of this reason all those in vitro grown plants have to be uh, transferred to the greenhouse condition and this process is known as hardening this hardening makes the plants more stronger sturdier next is applications see what are the applications associated with meristem culture first of all it is a very powerful technique which can be applied in almost all applied Uh, biotechnological field like genetic engineering agriculture horticulture and plant research applications and this is the best method for producing virus free stocks so for the successful production of disease free plants this meristem culture is extensively used and it can be done by isolating the meristematic cells from the desired mother cells or mother plants and this can be introduced into a suitable culture medium for regeneration so the plants produced by this technique provides an excellent approach to transporting the plants anywhere in the world without transmitting any diseases so it can be easily are uh, transported to any part of the world or it can easily pass out this all quarantine procedures next is the meristem culture or shoot tip culture or widely used for the application of agrobacterium mediated genetic transformation hope you know the direct gene transfer method in genetic engineering so it allows a scientist to regenerate the plants having the desired characteristics it may be any uh, character like herbicide tolerance or a, a resistant to diseases or uh, increasing the nutritional content than the wild plants etc so many of the uh, desired goals of genetic engineering can be easily accomplished by this method or this technique so the next application is plant conservation so it in addition to crop improvement and clonal propagation this meristem culture has an application in germplasm conservation so rare and endangered plants and its germplasm can be effectively stored and germplasm exchange can be done by using this shoot tip culture or meristem culture and this shoot tip culture is also has a range of applications in plant labs to study the different stages of plant development how the plants have been developed uh, in length wise or girth wise what are the cells uh, play a key role in its development and how the cells getting 
divided and what are the process of cell division and how the plant cell division can take place and how it gets differentiated further because of their ability to divide because we know very well that meristematic cells keep on dividing they are ever growing cells and they can form any cell type and they have been widely used to understand many cellular mechanism so the metabolically active cells were most widely used to study the different uh, cellular mechanisms and different cell functions for all these studies this meristem culture is highly useful and applied very easily next is what are the advantages of uh, shoot tip culture or meristem culture first of all this epical shoot culture is highly helpful in the production of virus free stalks or virus free plants the germplasm can be conserved in vitro or it can be die uh, uh, done sorry it can be done by the cryopreservation method so it can be stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade as this meristem contains a high oxygen concentration which can promote plant growth what are its disadvantages it is difficult to isolate meristem <coughs> because of its very smaller size it is probably 0.25 to 3 mm in diameter so it is very difficult to um, isolate the exact meristem because if we create uh, any wounds Uh, while removing the meristem from the shoot tip it may provide room for the development of callus so it is very careful to handle the uh, shoot tip culture while isolate the meristem from the shoot tip and the second greatest disadvantage is the explants may take more time to regenerate the regeneration time is very higher sometimes uh, it easily uh, passes all the stages of meristem culture but at the end it is difficult to regenerate so the regeneration time is uh, very high when compared with other culture techniques so these two are said to be the uh, greatest disadvantages of meristem culture but uh, meristem culture or shoot tip culture is a widely applied technique for virus free stalks because uh, even we apply the different therapies like thermotherapy cryotherapy or chemotherapy the plants cannot uh, sustain the plants are easily susceptible or exposed to uh, virus plant based viruses but this is the only technique which can effectively control or remove or it never allows the multiplication of viruses to conclude this as i told you it's a very effective technique in agriculture so we can produce innumerable number of clones of plants which are uh, resistant to viruses so innumerable number of clones can be successfully produced by meristem culture for example this tobacco mosaic virus is a very uh, important virus because it causes lot of damage to the uh, different kinds of plants why it is say so uh, tobacco mosaic virus first infects tobacco hence it has been named as tobacco mosaic virus but it has been affect other plants also but this tmb has been effectively eliminated from the petunia species by meristem culture or through meristem culture the next virus which are effectively removed uh, from brassica oleracea Uh, plants is cauliflower mosaic virus so there is no doubt 
that this meristem culture is widely applied technique to remove viruses and produce virus free stocks hope you have understand what is a meristem culture what are its procedure what are its applications in different fields of uh, plants and plant biotechnology and what are its advantages and disadvantages next is these are some of the references uh, so you can uh, refer all these uh, links to study about meristem culture coming to quiz portion let me ask few questions and you can very well answer meristem culture is the process of production of option a virus free plants option b meristem option c root and option d shoot the right answer is yes virus free plants and question number 2 how many stages are present in meristem culture option a 4 option b 3 option c 2 and option d 6 the answer is 4 question number 3 what's the light intensity for meristem culture a 2000 lux b 1000 lux c 3000 lux D four thousand lux. The correct answer is thousand lux. The next question: A transfer of plantlets from lab to greenhouse condition is known as option A pruning, option B transforming, option C hardening, and option D grafting. The answer is hardening. the next and final question the shoot multiplication medium promotes dash option a multiplication option b axillary branching option c callusing option d rooting the answer is b axillary branching thank you girls for the patient listening